Since moving to Southern California, I have done more dishes than I've ever done in my entire life. My wife works full time, often 50, 60 hours a week, and I am doing freelance stuff, not working nearly as often, and when I do, it's usually from home. And so I have been the one that has been doing the laundry and the cleaning and the dishes. I don't cook because my wife won't let me because if I cooked, it would be terrible. So I've done a lot of dishes. Thank the Lord that we have a dishwasher at this apartment place, because in Minnesota, at our house in Minnesota, we don't have a dishwasher. So we have to do them all by hand. But one thing I learned about a dishwasher, you still have to get the stuck on stuff off. You can't just throw anything in a dishwasher, it's not gonna come out clean. Even though we have a pretty good dishwasher and I like the soap that we use, because it seems to work pretty well. And if I can be honest with you, I often try it in the dishwasher first, and then if it doesn't come off, then I'll rinse it off or wash it off afterward. But I like to at least try it and see what the dishwasher and what that soap can actually do. Maybe that's just being lazy. But because I do the dishes so often now, something that was pointed out to us at church really stuck in my head. If you have dishes, dirty dishes, and something's really stuck on a dish, you can scrub and scrub and scrub and really try really hard and eventually get it off. Or if you take the time and let it soak first, that stuff's going to slide right off. He's using that analogy as the stuff that we have in this world. The negative stuff, the worry, the fear, the addictions, all the stuff of the world that we have on us, we often try so hard on our own to get that stuff off, to scrub ourselves clean. If you've seen these videos, worry and fear is a big thing on me and hard, have a hard time trusting God and I'm like, Oh, I'm gonna try so hard and I'm gonna make sure that I don't worry. But what he pointed out with this analogy was, you don't have to try so hard. If you simply take the time and spend time with God and in the word of God and in his presence, that stuff will simply fall off. It will simply slide away. We try so hard to do things on our own and put so much of our own effort into things that God is trying to tell us, just come to me, spend time with me, and in his word, stop trying so hard to do everything on your own. The more time you spend with God, the more time you read his word, it will literally transform you into the person that you were originally created to be, the way that God originally created human beings before the fall in the garden. The more time you spend with God, the more like him you will become. You won't be perfect, no one ever will be, but you, you're you gonna find yourself still making mistakes and still having struggles, but then if you get right back with God and spend more time with Him, you'll find your life is better. You will find more joy, you will find more peace, more happiness, you will find addictions and sins just sliding off. So stop trying so hard to muster up the strength on your own. Simply spend time with God and let all of that stuff just slide right off.